hey, hey, hey. It's Monday. How are you guys doing? So just let me get hooked up here to my live. So if you guys um, want an alert when I go live, or if you want information, I can get that all set up for you. How are you guys doing? Can you believe it's Monday again already? Yes, it is. All right, my mini chat's good. Can you guys say hi when you come in? So I know you're there. Hey, Pat. How's it going? Hey, Annette. Oh. Sorry, make sure that's off. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Dolores. Hello, Linda. Hello, Peggy. So, being that it's like the end of the school year, right, um, I'm going to make, like, hey, Terry, hey, Bev, like a teacher gift, like a teacher wreath. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Hey, Carolyn, so this is what we're going to make tonight. Hello, Donna. So, I have my wreath form all ready to go that you guys know I like to make my own wreath forms. Hey, Nana. We're going to be using 21 inch red mesh from my handy dandy mesh roller here. <laughs> you were born on a Monday. Yay! I'm doing well, thanks. Although it's been a rainy, rainy couple of days. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to gather it all together. I'm going to start on the inner row here. Hey, Carm, how are you? And we're going to get started. Okay, I'm going to do 12 inch poofs on the top. I feel like I've been doing these a lot lately. You know what I mean? Like you get kind of stuck, but oh well. So we're doing 12 inch poofs on the top. And hey Mary, I have some cute stuff I want to put on it. So we'll see what we end up putting on and what we don't. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So how was everyone's Mother's Day? Mine, hey Kathy, mine was kind of quiet because my um, four grandsons had had the stomach blue, the stomach bug. Hey Joy, um, so I kind of just, and my husband had gone to Pittsburgh to see his mom, he came home later. Hey Pat, um, so it was kind of a quiet day. And, you know, my son was going over to his mother-in-law, so we're going to do it next week. <laughs> so it was a very quiet Mother's Day. So um, I borrowed my daughter-in-law's, um, <clears throat> I know it is rainy, isn't it, Sherry? Hey, Mary Ellen. I borrowed my daughter-in-law's Cricut. So tomorrow night, or not tomorrow night, because my grandsons have a, um, hey, Linda, have a piano recital. We're going to do it Wednesday night instead. I'm going to be playing with the cricket. Hey, from Nova Scotia. How are you, Sharon? Oh, I know. It is. It rained all day. Hey, Joanne. And it's supposed to be rainy the next couple of days. So, what are you going to do? Alright. So, again, just to recap, I'm doing 12-inch poofs on the top. And I always do the poofs on the top a little bigger. Thank you, T. Shell. I'm glad yours was good. Thank you, Jacqueline, for blessing my page. Um, because the the um, pipe cleaners are a little further apart, so that's why I kind of like to do them a little longer on the top. And so I'm back at the beginning, so I do undo my first one. Oh, girl, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with it. I have never touched one before. I did play with it a little bit yesterday. So we're going to play with it again <laughs> in group tomorrow night. I just did a very basic. What did I make? Oh, I did very basic. Oh, it's coming down around me, girl. It's coming down around me. So I have these blanks. So I made these two, um, like the welcome for the inside. That's how basic it is. Okay, I'm not getting, you know, complicated. I'm just doing basics. But I wanted to try it out. Because hopefully someday I'll have one. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Nancy. So what I'm going to do now is I am back at the beginning, the very first row. So I'm going to bring it down here. You don't want to tug on it. Whoops, I didn't tighten that one. You don't want to tug on it so it doesn't pull the mesh. 
I made just the words, Tabitha, just the words. I got these blanks. It came like this. I, I've been looking. I have been on YouTube. So the blank came like this. So then I just did the, the letters. So I'm just playing with it. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Lisa from Ohio. So hopefully one day I'll buy one. But I thought I would borrow hers to kind of see how I like it. See, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, so now down the bottom, the pipe cleaners are closer together. So what I do on the bottom is I do 10 inch poops. Thank you, thank you, thank you for blessing me. So yeah, so I was on YouTube yesterday. <laughs> playing, you know, like watching the video and then playing with it again and watching the video and playing with it again. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Jerry Lynn. So, I thought, oh, why not? You know, I have all day to myself. So, I just played with it a little bit. But it was fun. You know, hey, Elizabeth. Now, I don't know, you know, I mean, I know you can make all kinds of things with it, but boy, oh boy. It's a little overwhelming at first, you know. Um, but like Michaels and AC Moore and all that was having sales on all their vinyls. So I thought, well, I might as well get it now. You know, the vinyl. And I can borrow my daughter-in-law's. Oh, thank you, Bev. Hello, Maggie. How are you? Yes, sharing is very much appreciated. So... But yeah, so that's what I did on my Mother's Day. We'll do, um, we'll celebrate Mother's Day probably this weekend. Like I said, my, um, two of my oldest, my two oldest grandsons have a piano recital tomorrow night. So we'll be at that, and that starts at 7. Hey, Kathy. How are you? Are you at the beach? Are you at the beach? Yeah, yeah, I just kind of wanted to try. No alert, Debbie. Ugh. Hello, Anita. How are you? I don't know, Debbie. I give up. And you've already typed in live and answered the question. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, Helen. How are you? I'm telling you, I'm about to give up on mini chat. I really, I'm so frustrated with it. I don't know why some people are not getting... The alerts, I really don't. I, I'm just about ready to give up. So this wreath would make a great teacher's gift. Hey, Annette. Oh, rub it in, Kathy. Rub it in, girlfriend. Bev always gets hers. Yeah, good evening, Deb. I don't know why. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't get it. I really don't understand it. I don't understand why some people get them and some people don't. Um, yeah, that's why I'm, I've decided, like, for some reason, the um, mini chat doesn't want to, you know, tell people sometimes. So I do the scheduled post, but now the scheduled post, I can't go live from that scheduled post from the Mevo, so I don't know. Yep, that's right. Just now got the alert. Oh, my word. That's weird because, Deb, um, I send it out at like 610. Like I, I tell it to, you know, to send it out at 610. And you just got that? That's crazy. So I apologize. I don't know what it is doing. But you should have gotten it like around 610 or so because that's what time I get it out. Oh, don't worry, Kathy. Whenever. Whenever, girlfriend. So, yeah. So, I, I don't know what's going on with those stinking alerts. They drive me crazy. Crazy, I tell you. <laughs> so, like I said, we did the 12-inch uh, poofs on the top and 10-inch poofs on the bottom because my um, pipe cleaners on the bottom are closer together. So, that's why I do... The different I usually get, yeah. I don't know. I really, I get. I'm telling you, it's very frustrating. <laughs> it is very frustrating. 
<laughs> hey, Heartless. Hey, Nancy. You got it at 645. That's crazy. Because I literally told it to go out at 610 or scheduled it to go out at 610. I don't know what it's doing. That's nuts. But hopefully it's working. I know. I know, Tabitha. I do. Every time before I go on. <laughs> but I don't know why. Babe, someday it'll work. I don't know. <laughs> someday it'll work right. So, is it, as you can tell, 6.53. Oh, my word. Since day one. But yeah, I know. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Hey, Sherry. Sherry. Hey, Eva. 610. See, that's what time I told it to go out, Mary. Hey, Johnny. So, you can tell, like, from this, I'm making them two different sizes, but because the pipe cleaners are further apart on the top row, they really come out about the same size. <laughs> Tell Jim I said hi, Kathy. Hey, Sandy. I know, right? It's crazy. I really, I, I like, I want to give up on it, but at least some people get it. I don't know. Yes, I finally got the, oh, so here's, here's the latest. Two minutes, oh my goodness, Mary, that's crazy. I don't know. So, yeah. So, they finally delivered the washer and dryer on Thursday. Okay. Hey, Sandra. So, now we've lived in this house, I don't know, 26, 27 years. So, they go to hook up the washer. Now, mind you, the washer was not broken before we got this new one. They go to hook up the washer and... <laughs> And the, you know, the valves that turn it, you know, turn the water on and off, the shutoff valves, they started leaking. So I'm like, oh my word, are you kidding me? So, <laughs> oh, congratulations, Deborah, a new baby. Oh, I don't know, Kathy, you'll have to tell me when you go to Carolina Pottery or something. All right, so we are back at the beginning. So I am going to undo that one on the bottom row and tie it into that one. Hey, Teresa. So yeah, so then we had to have a plumber come out. So the plumber didn't, couldn't come out until this morning. So now it's finally working. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what a crazy ride. You just got the alert. Ugh. Hey, Carla. I don't know. I give up. I know, right, Bev? Isn't that the truth? It is. Okay, so I did the top row, did the bottom row, and you guys know whenever I do the poof method, I always do then the crisscross method. So what you do with the... Oh, <laughs> have fun at Zumba. Hey, Pat, what I do with the crisscross method is I just take the mesh and I'm on the bottom row. So then I just, I don't measure it, I just kind of loop it around to kind of cover the thinness with it. Um, Kathy, I am making a school, like a teacher, like a teacher um, wreath. So I thought it's the end of school, it would make a great teacher's gift for the end of the school year. Okay, so then I'm just kind of pulling it, like I said, I'm not really measuring these poops at all. Um, like I wouldn't even really call them poofs, but just kind of going back and forth to cover that center part a little bit. So that's what I am doing with that. Okay, so it kind of really 70 degrees. It was like 48 today, right Sandy? Wouldn't you say it's about 48 degrees here? It was cold and rainy all day so you know it's crazy this time of the year you have 70 degrees one day 50 degrees the next day you just never know all right so that like I said I'm going back and forth from the top to the bottom and then back up to the top and with this method you do pretty much use 
the whole roll of mesh, okay? So it just really helps. I don't know if you can tell. This side has it on it, and this side doesn't, and you can kind of see through a little bit here. 68 and sunny. It would be nice, but not here today. 81 in Florida. Ugh. It'll get there eventually. It will get there eventually. Oh, you for 36 years? What grade did you teach? Yeah, I thought it would make like a great teacher's gift, you know, the end of the year. Um, thank you, Carla. I know, right? Mother Nature is definitely not on our side. But, oh well. Then when it's summertime, we'll be complaining that it's too hot, right? <laughs> you want to tuck those edges under so they're not sticking up. That would be nice. But, you know, if we didn't have rain, we wouldn't have rainbows. So, you know. Oh, no. Yeah, it's been really warm here. Like, we, I haven't had the air conditioning on, but it's been nice sleeping with the windows open because it's been so nice, you know, at night. It's been getting nice and cool. So, <laughs> someone messed with Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. You gotta take what you can get and be happy with it. All right, so now we're just going back and forth. We're just about done. Hello, hello. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I will I will definitely ship those out to you. Oh, thank you. You'll be on a cruise. Where are you going? <clears throat> oh. No, well, not too bad. I don't have problems with pollen. My husband does. But um, it's not too, too bad right now. I mean, it was pretty, pretty, you know, a lot of pollen, but. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pretty shade of red. Just about there, just about there. I have a lot of fun stuff to put on it. So we'll see how this works out. <laughs> you know, you have something in your mind that you want to do, but you don't quite know how it's going to turn out. Well, that's this wreath. So we shall see. All right. And I think we are at the beginning. Hey, Blanche, how are you? So one more, and then we are at the beginning. You do get your, yeah, I don't know what it is, to be honest. I don't know some why some people get them and why some people don't. I really have no clue. Okay, so let's cut this off. Okay. Grant, oh, that sounds divine. Ugh. You ready to make another one, Kathy? All right. Oh, good. You all set up for it, ready to go? All right, so what I always do is I take the start and the finish, and I zip tie them together. Not that they'll go anywhere. What is the boards called that you wrap your ribbon on? Oh, they are called the um, Perfect Tails. Perfect tails. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that off. This is just um, a little metallic mesh. It has a little met metallic line running through it. It's not the basic. It's like one step up from the basic. Okay? You can see the little metallic lines running through it, the little shininess. So that is um, 
one step up. Okay, so that's what we got there. Now, um, go to the soulsisters.com. Uh, let me see. I think it's soulsisters.com. Rhonda, I will look that up for you. And, but I know it's, uh, let me see, Soul Sisters. Let me see if I have it on my list. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Perfect Tales. Here we go. Hold on. There we go. There it is. And that is my affiliate link, so you will get a cup. I will get a couple pennies if you buy them, but um, you can get them there. Okay, so I have the this ribbon, which is like a little ruler, and I have a little school ribbon. Okay, so we're going to be using those. I also have cut some mesh tubing that we're going to use. So, I cut this to 13 inches, just cut them a little longer this time, fold them in half to find the center, okay, and then you can either just kind of gather them up together, like that, and then put them in, I know, isn't it cute? Well, welcome, Kim. We're glad you're here. And then I'm going to pull the ruler ribbon up like that. Okay, and then I'm going to add, I have the mesh tubing, and I cut this to about 36 inches. Okay, then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, fold it in half, and then in half again. Okay, and then I'm going to put that right on top. And then just kind of spread it out a little bit like that. Okay. Now I do have a bunch of fun stuff I'm thinking of putting all around, but we shall see once we get going. All right. So, I know, isn't this cute? I was looking for like a little ruler, and then I thought right because it, there's one on the sign. So what I was thinking was, because I couldn't find a little one, um, I can make one because all it is is just little lines like if you see the thing on there, so I don't know. We'll see So I'm just going to go into the next one And put that in Okay, pull that ribbon up <clears throat> And then get one red one yellow Now see, one is cut long, one is cut short, so you just cut it off. Oh, this, this came from Michael's. Girl, if I had an affiliate link for that, I think I'd be rich by now because I think about 30 people that I know have bought um, one of these um, holders. Hey, Diane. Yes, from Michael's. Yep. Okay. We're just gonna, now when you place your ribbon, what you want to make sure, like this one has that print on it, you want to make sure that one doesn't accidentally go upside down. Yep, I did, Cindy. Yep, I make, I usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, I do make my own wreath frames. So... Put that in. I do like this lip, this uh, ribbon, the ruler ribbon. I think it's really cute. Yep, we finally got it hooked up today, Sandy. So I can finally use my washer and dryer. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, no problem. It, I don't. I didn't make it live on here though, Cindy, but I do have a video that shows you how to do it. So if you can't find it, let me know and I'll um, get it for you. But 
I know, isn't it cute in it? I really like it. Actually, <laughs> actually, I'm thinking of making a 4th of July one on Thursday night. I'm actually thinking, uh, I know, right? I know I do too, Diane. Um, I'm thinking of making it Thursday night, but I'm thinking of making like a mailbox swag. You know, one for my mailbox as a patriotic one. And I also have a wreath I want to make too, so I'll get there eventually. <laughs> so again, I just take this, I cut this to 36 inches, then I cut it in half, or I fold it in half, and I fold it in half again, and that's how I put it on here. Okay, put that in. So again, you want to make sure that you watch the rollers because that does have a, you know, a certain print to it and you don't want it to be upside down. I know, don't you love it? Love it, love it, love it. And I have so many fun things like, so I went to the dollar store, right? And I was like, I really want to put some stuff on this wreath. So I was like, what can I put on it? I know. So I bought um, just some like regular pencils. And I got, um, I think both of these ribbons came from Craft Outlet, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you don't have that much? What's it called? I got a gift card for my birthday. For my, oh, um, I think it's just a, um, hmm, it's a, a tool caddy, I think it's called. I know, I love that pancake method. Okay, so one more on top here. I know, I'm looking forward to making another pancake wreath. I almost did it with this one. You better take lots of pictures, T-Shell. No problem. Yes, yeah, so I went to the dollar store. I got erasers. I got pencils. I got crayons. I got ABC123. I know. I saw that. I love that one. I need a ruler. I have not made anything for a tombstone. I was actually thinking the other day I need to make, um, I wanted to make like a cross for my mom's grave and I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> anything navy. could do that on the Cricut, huh? Make that um, a ruler like this long, but you don't really need that to make it, do you? Your 17th cruise? I have never been on a cruise. Holy cow, 17. See, I get vertigo, so I would be scared to death to go on a cruise. Oh my goodness. This is on a 14 inch Dollar Tree frame. Uh, yeah, I know. That's true, it could get stolen. But I was thinking about making something for her grave and I just haven't, you know, so many things I think about, but I don't always get around to making it. But I just thought this would um, make a really cute, um, I don't know what I'm missing. What, oh, on a cruise? Oh, I know, but I'm so afraid I'll get sick because I get vertigo. I know my my sister Sharon has gone on a lot of cruises, and she loves it, but I'm so afraid I'll get sick. I must go on one. I don't know. I don't think I can get my husband on one either. <laughs> 
I don't know. You love them? I know. So many people say they do. I just don't know. And then what happens if I do get sick when I'm on there? Like, it's not like you can just get off the boat, right? <laughs> I mean, what do you do? You're just stuck there. Buy a bracelet for vertigo. Oh, I would be so afraid. Girl, I walked over, uh, I know, see, Pat? I walked over a bridge one time at Myrtle Beach, and I had vertigo so bad because there was motion to it. I had vertigo so bad for the week that I couldn't even do anything. Could not do a thing. So I'm so afraid. I don't want to spend all that money and then get sick and can't even enjoy it. They have doctors. Ugh. That one's a little long. I'm going to cut that. Hey, Laura Jean. How are you? Okay. A couple more here. I know school's going to be over soon before we know it. They have doctors on the ship. <laughs> I would just be so afraid to spend all that money on a cruise and then end up getting sick. And what do you do? Like, you can't get off the boat, right? I know. See, Blanche? That's what I would be totally afraid of. I know. The last time I did get vertigo, I did, um, what is that, that maneuver they tell you to do? I did that and it did work. But boy, I've had it so bad. Oh, have fun, Laura Jean. Thanks for stopping by. I had it for, like, I don't know, 25, 26 years ago. So bad I had it for a month, and it was nasty. Hey, Christy. Thank you. And then if you get one like this one that's a little long, you just cut it down a little bit. No biggie. Two more, I think, to go here. Thanks, Janet. How do I ship the wreaths? I just put it in a box and wrap it good. My husband and I used to own a UPS store, so I know how to... Uh... Oh, I don't know, Kathy. I don't think I could ever get... I don't think I could ever get John on one, to be honest. I don't think he'd ever go. I know, right? Hey, Teresa, thank you for blessing my page. Exactly, Pat. I'm happy to sit on the beach. That way I know I won't get seasick. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to the beach this year. I don't know why the reds I cut so much longer. So again, I just take them and fold them in half and in half again. I know, isn't it cute? I got that from Sims Pottery, the sign. One more. <clears throat> yeah, that's what everyone tells me, Annette, but I'm just, I don't know. First of all, like I said, I don't think I could get my husband um, to, go, to go on one. I don't know. Your sister has been twice? Yeah. Um, UPS does sell boxes, but they're expensive. Don't buy them there. I get mine off of Amazon. Hey, Cecilia, how are you? All right, last one here. Oh, awesome, Teresa. We'll see you. Have a good night. Okay. So the last one. You don't like the beach at all, Annette? <gasps> that is blasphemy. Oh, Kathy, I would love to go. I don't know. All right, so. So here's the sign, right? So I got 
some erasers right now I don't know what I'm going to use yet so I have these erasers just regular erasers I got pencils you know a little bit of pencils I got crayons because I thought that would be cute right because it has the crayons on the side and then I got these ABC's and one two three I got all this at the dollar store right so I don't know what I'm going to use, but we're going to figure it out. So let's go ahead and get the sign attached. And then we will figure out what we're going to do. Um, I haven't, but I was actually thinking of making my own wireframe for the cross or using, um, I'm going to use, let's see, put that over there. And I'm going to, you don't like the sand. Oh, I love the beach. It's my happy place. Oops. All right, let me get my pipe cleaners here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think so too, Blanche. Yep. All right, so these are just little popsicle sticks, like craft sticks. And I put these on so that the um, the staples will not go through the sign. Because if it goes through the sign, you ruin your sign. Okay. I couldn't find them there, Annette. I looked. And I... Um, tried to order them online and I couldn't order them online either. Alright, put another one here. Yeah, none of my, oops, stop, stop a minute. None of my Dollar Trees around me had the crosses. There we go, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Lazy River. Oh, I love the beach. Ah, give me the beach, baby. All right. Get this out of the way. I'm going to untwist these and use these to tie it onto the wreath. Okay, so I'm just untwisting this that was used to tie it on. Excuse me. Okay. And then we'll see what attachments we want to use. Oh, I burn too. I burn and then it goes away. Never, I don't tan. I really don't, but that's okay. Oh, that's a good idea. A cooling rack. Thank you, Pat. Oh, I love the beach. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm just going to untwist this. Thank you all. You made four of them? Okay. Whoop, stuck on something. It's stuck on something. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put my sign on here. And run it through the mesh. Okay. That one. <clears throat> and this one you d yeah see I never found any of them I could not find any in any of the stores and I tried to order them online and I couldn't even get them online so I don't know where they are but they're not here remember you don't want to pull your sign too tight because it will 
um, sink into your wreath. So you want to keep it on top of the wreath. The um, sign came from Sims Pottery, but I'm pretty sure I saw it at um, Craft Outlet too. Alright, so then I'm going to run this through here. And with a cooling rack, yeah. Well, I was thinking too, I could always, like someone else said, cut the, um, the, the, um, what one am I thinking? The, um, the candy cane one and make it with that. So, okay, now I don't want to pull it too tight, so I'm going to loosen that up a little bit don't want it to be tight because you don't want it to sink into your wreath. You want it to sit on top. I did make one the other night, um, Annette, and I loved it. In fact, I think maybe the next one. I know, right? Um, I think maybe the Memorial Day one that I'm going to make, I'm going to do that one. Casey, how are you, girl? Okay, so I'm just feeding this through the mesh so I can tie it on here. Oh, it's a new style of um, wreath that um, Melly Mel came up with to put between a screen door and your regular. Like, so a lot of people have screen doors. So it's a thinner wreath. Oh, thanks, Casey. Um, I have it over here. All right. So you want to kind of shake it, make sure. Hey, BJ. Okay, so then what I was thinking was um, I definitely kind of want to use the ABCs. So I'm going to use these. And Oops, I missed one with that. I did not put my tubing in here, girls and boys. Oh, thank you, Annette. Annette. So what else do you guys think I should use in here? I definitely want to use the A, B, and the C. Should I use the crayons? Should I use the... Um, so all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to... Shame on me. What did I do? What did I do? I know I love tubing. All right, I'm just going to twist this. And then I'm going to give it something to hold on to. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm just going to take my glue gun here. And I'm going to put a dab of glue on there. And I'm going to put the A right there. Yeah, I think so too. Because that's why I, got, I pulled those three out. Because I thought it definitely went with the sign. Now, I don't know how I'm going to attach them, but I'll figure it out. All right. So, I'm going to put the B here. Let me get this the way I want it. Put a little dab of glue there. Ooh. Put the B. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Jonathan. Um, this ribbon came from Craft Outlet, I believe. I'm pr oh, stinking oh. glue. All right, I'm going to put the C over here. I know, I was looking for apples today, to be honest, Tina, and I couldn't find any because I was thinking about putting little apples in, and I could not find the apples I wanted to use. Thanks, Jonathan. Just going to put some glue there. Add the C. I'm just kind of holding it there so it doesn't go anywhere. Then cricket number one on it? Yeah. 
All right. Okay, now let's see how I can get these pencils to stay on, or these crayons to stay on here. I'm thinking if I glue them, I don't know, we'll see. Or just tie them on. We'll see how this looks. Thank you. All right, what do you think? We just kind of wrap that around it. Cause I'm afraid to glue it on. And then, kind of thinking, should I use erasers or not? Let's see. Let's put the yellow one in here. I know, isn't it cute? Turning out adorable. I love it. Oh, a pancake wreath. Oh, well, I, I'll, I have it right over here. Let me grab it in a second and I'll show you what it is. So a pancake wreath is just a thinner style wreath that um, Melly Mel came up with from Sincerely Creative. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm trying to think if I, okay. Let me grab it. Let me show you how thin it is. So this is a pancake wreath. Okay, you see how thin that is? Now let me lift this up and see how the difference in the thickness is. Can you see that? How thick this one is? Whereas this one is like, hold on, like three inches tall. Okay, and this one is like this one is five inches tall. So it's just a thinner version. Okay. It's just a thinner version of the, um, the wreaths. All right, so I wanna use the one, two, three. So let me use those kind of on the back here. I know I want to use the one, two, three, two, and then I think we're probably done. I think, I think, I think. <clears throat> this is turning out really cute. What do you guys think? I like it, I like it. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, put this in here. Just to kind of give it a little different look. Oh no. I know, isn't it a cute? It is cute because a lot of people up here um, you know, they can't fit the regular wreaths um, on their door, so that's why she came up with um, the pancake wreath, because it's a thinner version. Okay. Last one, and then we are done. I think it turned out super cute. Like I said, it would make a great teacher's gift for the end of the year. You know how everyone gives their teachers a gift now. We never did that when we were in school, but everyone does that now, so it's perfect as a teacher's gift. I know, I'm thinking about the pencils. That's right, you did, that's right. So, know if I'm going to add a pencil or not. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, put that on upside down. 
<laughs> yeah, I think this is good. I think we're good with what we have. But I can always add them later. I just, I just bought regular pencils, you know, and I was thinking of adding them, but I'm not sure. If I'm not sure, I'll think about it and then maybe add them later. But doesn't that turn out cute? It has a little A, B, C, one, two, three. Hey, Jackie. All right, so that is it. Oops, I turned that off already. Oh, I love it. Add them, you think so? I could put some up here, like one up here, near the pencil or something. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I think I need to um, maybe like uh, grind, you know, sharpen them and cut them down to shorter, and then I think add some. I think that would be cute. Yeah. All right. That's my teacher gift wreath. Whoops, sorry. So if anybody needs a teacher gift for their um, golf pencil would work better. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think I need to sharpen them down so they're shorter and add maybe one and two here or there. That's what I'll do. All right. I know. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, that's it for me for Monday night. Like I said, this will be available in my Etsy shop. If anybody's interested in it, make a great teacher's gift. And, you know, one of a kind. Teachers will love it. You know, they don't get the same thing over and over and over again. So, Oh, you did? Oh, cool. Isn't that cute, though? All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful night. And thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.